welcome back to our channel. We're Nikki and Kevin and we're packing our trunks. We've been uh, living in our motor nearly for, oh, since March 2023 and uh, we're currently touring Ireland. Um, come along with us by subscribing to our channel and you don't miss our videos which come out every week. Yep, we're currently on the, uh, we're in County Kerry, we've just finished the Ring of Kerry and we're currently at the Gap of Dunlow. So we're going to have a, a wander up to see what this is all about. Apparently it's a quite a famous tourist attraction here. Um, and then from there we are going to go on to the Dingle Peninsula. So come with us. So today we're walking the Gap of Dunlow, as Nicky said, which is a mountain pass between the biggest range of mountains in Ireland, the McKilly Cuddy Reeks, which include Karen Toon Hill, which we're going to pass on our way out to the east to our right. Um, and on the other side, we'll be passing the Purple Mountains. Um, the pass was forged, apparently, by movement of ice, um, creating these two dramatic mountain ranges. The walk is about six and a half miles each way and is a tarmac road. Um, it's permitted, but it's kind of not encouraged, is it? Yeah, so... So sort of access to accommodation and yeah, housing. And it apparently is quite a challenging drive, but yeah. also um, we will encounter jaunty cars today, which are horse and trap tourist vehicles. A lot of people apparently walk the gap or get a boat to one end and then a pony and trap back. Um, we're not, we're going to walk it both ways. So uh, let's see what we find. And Nicky's just reminded us that the mountains to our left are called the Purple Mountains and you probably won't see this on camera but below the cloud up there the mountain does indeed look purple. Also the sheep match the mountain as well. Yeah. They're all painted purple. turn point of our walk. Yeah. How many other people have we seen walking, Nicky? Three. So this is the turn point of our walk. Boats come here from the Killarney National Park from Ross House, which you saw on our earlier video we visited there. Um, and then people take the jaunty cars back to where we're parked. I don't but, mind about yeah, that talking. I'm distracted. <laughs> and it's just gorgeous. Here we are, seven miles from Nelly. I think we'll put the camera away. It is raining quite hard now, isn't it? Yeah.
a bit stiff this morning. <laughs> we are, I have to say, we're, we're at Brook, no, Bridgefield, Bridgefield Motorhome Air on the Dingle Peninsula. We spoke to a lovely guy, Michael, this morning that owns it. It's flat gravel. Electric, if you want it, is five euros. There's black waste emptying, grey waste emptying, and water, and actually a little toilet over there. And it's a tenner. Yeah. And there isn't ten any. Euros. Ten euros, yeah. So we'll put a link in the description if you're on the Dingle Peninsula. The beach is there, the mountains are there. And we slept, we slept so well. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to go for our early morning run. It's quarter to 11. <laughs> Come on, Ireland, play fair. There's Nelly. Wow, didn't expect this. Oh it? my word. We're just having a little run here in the Caribbean. you'll never see them on the camera there are hundreds of birds the seaweed seems to be full of flies and I think they're feasting on them the air we stayed at is on the north of the Dingle Peninsula on a spit of land which seemed to be entirely beach a joy to run on at low tide We've been staying off grid nearly every night during our island adventures and which combined with the autumnal weather has meant little opportunity to sit outside. We decided to pay for another night by dropping cash in the honesty box and settled in the sun to have a late lunch and read our books. Connor Pass, Brandon Mountain over there, uh, which is over at 3,000 feet. And uh, this is notorious. Um, and if you come from the other side, it's described as the most dangerous pass in Ireland. But we've been assured by two people, locals, that if we drive up this side, we can get to the waterfalls and a lake called Pedlar's Lake. I think the waterfalls are called Connor Pass waterfalls and the lake we're going to is called Peddler's Lake, I'm pretty sure. So we're hoping the road stays like this, uh, where there's just two-way traffic, until we get to the parking space where we turn around. But we know on the top of the pass itself, there are overhanging rocks which prohibit the height, the height of the vehicle, as well as the width of the vehicle, and the weight of the vehicle. And we've long since driven past the sign which said, turn back now <laughs> so we've spoken about using uh, weather windows and it is we've written today off because it's going to rain and here we are up a mountain Nelly's Park behind us you might see her on Connor Pass climbing up to Peddler's Lake so this is bonus this is bonus activity isn't it Nicky yeah. Victoria's Brandon Mountain over there. So we're, we were just saying, we're so spoiled now that we're 
we don't we don't take any of this for granted but it's like today we've got to get LPG um, which is the gas we use for our cooking fridge and hot water etc and we've got to get diesel and we've got to get shopping because the van is completely yeah. empty um, and we've got to do laundry and boring. we're boring we're like resenting it's a that. really boring day so we're feeling uh, blessed that we've managed to have a beautiful sunrise a drive up a mountain and a climb up some rocks to see a secluded mountain lake and we've got these views before we do our chores for those people that are um, sick of seeing us eating lunch <laughs> parked on our own at beaches there's the Domino's delivery lorry Here's the tyre recycling lorry. You know, behind a petrol station. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. It's raining. Washing's in. The washing's in. We found the garage that does LPG. We're on it. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. We've just driven from um, Bridgefield Motorhome Air as you've seen, which was brilliant, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. We really ended up good staying value. three nights. Uh, we ended up befriending the guy that owns it, um, which is a long story, but yeah. what a gent, what an absolute gent, and he's proper looked after us. Yeah, so, so um, thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Anyone is in the Castle Gregory area on the Dingle Peninsula, go and check out Bridgefield Motorhome Air. It, yeah. It's a great facility. Beautiful, and, beautiful um, location as well, wasn't it? Yeah, really and, and text the guy or ring him. The number's on Park for Night. I don't think he's got a website. And um, and engage with him. He's an absolute gent, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he is. So anyway, we've driven from there and we are at a place called Brandon Point. And I expect when we edit the video, then there'll be a map appearing of the drive between the two places. I'm denied about a mountain today. We're going to go to some high stuff, but not Brandon not, Mountain no, itself. Not the mountain, no. But we are going to have a bit of an walk from here, and we're hoping we get that golden stuff and not that dark stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's, but what uh, a location this is! This yeah, is just this is fantastic. Gorgeous, yeah, isn't and it? Um, we can we can overnight here, and if if it's not blowing a gale tonight, yeah, we will. We will. We have, as regulars will have seen, been on some stunning hikes in Ireland. Today's has to be right up there as one of our favourites. Yes, the weather did its best to dampen our spirits, but the absolutely breathtaking views from the peaks of Buwechin and Nokdila, particularly of Sass Creek, deep in the gorge below, more than made up for it. And the sun did try hard to warm us up too. morning we've woken up here this is Brandon Point it is where we walked from yesterday as you saw and it is a viewing point on the Wild Atlantic Way there's the sign there but we're out of season the weather's changeable it's a dead-end road it was so quiet here last night Ireland, you're spoiling us. You really are. Hi there. 
Right, we're back on the Wild Atlantic Way on the Dingle Peninsula and the weather's a bit changeable today. So we're kind of we're not quite sure what we're going to do. So we're going to head towards Dingle now and then we're going to um, drive the Slayhead Loop or drive as, as they call it and maybe stop somewhere for lunch. We're not quite sure yet, it just depends on the weather really. But apparently it's meant to be a, a really magnificent drive. So, so yeah, come we'll, along with us. Yeah, come with us and we'll, we'll take a bit of footage of the magnificent drive through yeah. our filthy windscreen. Yeah. <laughs> and the rain as yeah. well. Yeah, but fingers crossed. We're hoping that we might be able to get out for a little bit of a walk. We aren't normally ones for driving for the sake of it, but we were both blown away by the spectacular views the Slayhead Drive gave us. We even found a cracking beach park up for lunch. The second half of the drive was dominated by Brandon Mountain, high above us in the clouds. For the night, we hope. Yeah, we hope. Yeah, we're at a place called Kilmurray, and that is Minard Castle, the ruined castle in the background. Um, obviously, these sea defences have been built here, and it has, as you saw as we drove in, a tiny breach, wasn't it, across yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. But um, we kind of said that we might be picking the stones up again in the yeah, morning. To but get there's past. no, there's no evidence here of this section we're on here flooding. But high tide isn't till. Eight something, so it's about eight yeah, fifty it. yeah. tonight. So um, yeah, we might be in the morning, we might not. But I, I think we'll be all right. It's um, there's no evidence here of the tide breaching this sea defence, and it's a cracking park. Oh, there's stones in the road oh, down there. Yeah, other than where it has <laughs> yeah. breached the sea defence. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, next time you see us, we may or may not be here. <laughs> Good morning, we didn't get swept away last night and we've driven down the coast and we're going to do a park run. Where are we doing a park run, Nikki? At Inch Beach. Not bad, eh? Right, well that's um, Inch Park Run done. It was really good, really enjoyed it. Um, out and back along the beach. It was, um, I don't like out and back, but as a one-off, it yeah. was a location, location, on location, the beach. on the beach. It was fantastic. We had every weather going. We had rain, we had sun, we had the most amazing rainbow, didn't we? Didn't we just, yeah. Yeah. 
so anyway, that's that done. We've had a shower, we've had our breakfast, and it's... Heaving day! <laughs> So we didn't get to Dingle yesterday. We, the plan was we were going to go back along the peninsula and go to Dingle, but we've decided that there's loads and loads of coaches actually, um, and we think it's going to be busy, it's raining. So we've actually decided to push on, come off the peninsula, and we're going to go back to Tralee, because um, we spotted a bookshop, and apparently um, they do nice coffee. So we're going to go and check that out. We've limited ourselves to one book each. Yeah. Um, and we need a bit of shopping. And then we're going to start cracking on up the, the Wild Atlantic yeah. Way. By cracking on, we mean in <laughs> yeah. inching. In inching on. Which is actually quite fitting because we're actually an inch in beach. beach yeah. uh -huh. So anyway, let's see where we get to. So we haven't done much of this in Ireland, we've come to Tralee, um, we've seen that the library's closed, it's a bank holiday weekend in Ireland as it always is for Halloween apparently, and so the library's shut, so therefore we've parked outside the library which is to be free and nearly fit, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed we're happy with it. Tralee, not known for a great deal, but it is known for the Rose Festival which is the biggest annual beauty pageant in Ireland, being held here since 1959. Uh, about 25,000 people, which actually in Ireland makes it the 15th largest urban population in the whole country. The National Folk Theatre is here. Um, it is a medieval town, and I think the name derives from the fact the River Lee runs through it. And this lady here uh, won the beauty pageant in, uh, in October 2023. <laughs> Here's the start of the Kerry Camino, um, the great journey of St. Brendan, which interesting, we've been watching a YouTube channel called Those Happy Days, and they're currently doing the Camino way across northern Spain, aren't they? Yeah. Massive coincidence, but this is the star here, and St. Brendan trekked west on foot across Ireland from here. So, if you enjoyed this week's video, give us a like, and um, maybe think about subscribing and telling all your friends. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. We love comments. And thank you so much for watching and thank you to all the people that have commented. Uh, we really do appreciate yeah, yeah. it really do and we will see you next week yes, for will. more adventures in Ireland <laughs>